Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, gonna be a match between Dark and Dream for your Patreon cast for the week of December the 15th. Thank you very much if you're watching this on patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin on that week. And if you're watching this in January, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. You can watch this earlier if you go to patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin and pledge at least $1 a month to me. On that, it accepts different currencies. You can pledge yearly or monthly. And let's go ahead and get right on to this ZVT. Top right, we have Dark, world champion Dark. And in the bottom left, we have Dream, not a world champion, which necessarily puts him in a different level than where Dark is. It doesn't mean that Dream is bad, okay? It just means that Dream is an excellent, excellent Terran Korean player, and Dark is just a step up from where he is. But... You know what? Dream can take a game off of anybody. I really believe that. He's very capable of winning a game here today against Dark. He's a bit of a more up-and-coming player, so his ceiling has not been reached. Like, some of these players, right? Some of these StarCraft players were like, okay, you've been around for, you know, five, six, seven years now. We know what you are. We know what you're capable of. If you come out and do win a world title for us, we're going to be surprised, but... um. Whereas a younger player, we're kind of like, okay, all right, we're still feeling you out. We won't be as shocked if you come through and win a world championship. Just because your, you know, your potential is unknown at this stage. So, so let's see what we got going. Whew, standard openings from both players. Reaper expand from Dream. Hatch first. 16, 18, 17. It is dark reaper we got a reaper name ready to go again leave your reaper names in the comments of any of my videos just say reaper name give them a name you can give them a backstory you don't have to a lot of people do like to give backstories they're fun to read they're fun to write but it's not a requirement all right this is chance the reaper chance the reaper just wants to make your workers dance dance monkeys dance ah chance the rapper reference i know who chance the rapper is i have never i don't think heard of his music or i've known who it is I am not big into the rap scene, unfortunately. There's just there's a lot of stuff in the world, and rap is one of those things I've just chosen not to spend a ton of time listening to and learning about. Anywho, Reaper, trying to get stuff done. Kachup, 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 kachup. That's what I'm talking about. Kitty 8 charge connects. One Ling has gone down. Reaper next to the Reaper hop-up spot for a quick exit. Positioning is really important. Sees the third base coming up. Very standard timing there from Dark 2. Nothing too insane whatsoever. Reaper goes back in. Tries to see, is there a Roachhorn? Is there a fast lair? How many workers are on your gas? Like, these are things we're checking. And I think he can make it out. Because speed is... N oh, that queen's waiting for... Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, no. Ooh, two HP makes it out of there alive. Chance the Reaper getting some scouting work done today. Starport coming in here from Dream. That can be used for what am I drops? Could be used for a Viking. Can be used for Banshees. Like whatever Dream wants to right now. That is on the table for him. Sur le table, en français. It's gonna be Hellion harass. Nothing too crazy at all from Dream. It is going to be Banshees. Tech Lab coming up on Starport. Cloak Banshees, no less. Ah, trying to scout this and is... Go oh, no, could have. He could have suicided the Overlord in and seen this, but he didn't want to suicide the Overlord, so he doesn't know it's Cloak Banshee. He's just going to have to throw up the spores at about four and a half minutes, just safety spores, which, you know, they could be worthless, but they could also be amazing. Third CC coming in 415. Not a super fast third CC for Dream here, but uh, pretty good nevertheless. Kind of in the middle between super fast and normal timing. There is a Roach Horn back here, though. I remember when I was like, there wasn't a Roach Horn. He didn't see it. He didn't scout the Roach Horn because he couldn't come over this far because the Queen was waiting for him to do that. Remember that? Oh, man. Fantastic. Okay, so Hellion's up. They are protecting Chance the Reaper in the midst of their Hellion grouping right now. We don't have an armory, I say, as I double-check that statement. And no, we don't have an armory, so these guys can go in. 
They can be YOLO Hellions if they want to. Banshee really would like Cloak to be done. There's seven seconds on that, so that's not a problem. Not too much to ask, but we've got Queen Roach. You know what's really good against Hellion Banshee is Queen Roach. I've died to Hellion Banshee before because I didn't have roaches. But the important part of this is you got to have the queens too. Ooh, is that two dead roaches? That's two dead roaches for free. Okay, that kind of sucks. Meanwhile, roaches on the other side of the map, but guess what? There's banshees. So, meh. You know what really shuts down roach attacks in the early stage of the game is like a banshee or two. Mm, queen's protecting that creep tumor. That first one died. Hellion gets out of there, man. Man, he's almost playing this. Like, he wants to keep these alive because he can turn them into Hellbats at some point. But there's not an armory. There's not one in production. There will be one eventually. Just not in time to save these guys, I don't think. They might actually die. We'll see if that happens. Third base is done. Upgrading to an orbital. Going to pop it over here when that's done. And then from that point on, it's going to be the planetary fortresses for the expansions. Couple drones go down. Three of them die there. And trying to YOLO in there, but no. Chance the Reaper, man. No kills, but he's alive at six minutes, which is a lot more than we can say for a lot of Reapers that go up against players of Dark's caliber. Banshee is just sniping. Just sniping at the edges here. Trying to keep Dark off balance. Actually going for Glio Reconstitution, dude. Dark. Oh, okay. Infestation Pit Hydralisk Den. So we are going to see the Lurkers that are such a big part of ZVT right now. It is, man. Raynor got this thing started. Raynor's like, you can make Lurkers work against Terran. He's got Nidus's coming up behind Mineral Lines and killing SCDs. And everybody's like, okay. All right, we're inspired. And then they just basically copycatted Raynor into the ground. And that's what we're seeing here is everybody's making Lurkers in this matchup now. I don't know how I feel about it. don't know how I feel about so much Lurker in ZVT. It's pretty good, but man, we can see really good ghost play out of players like Maru that just make the Lurker seem completely impotent. Dark expanding down this right side. Interesting, kind of expanding towards the Terran a little bit, which is not what you want to do in general. Oh, third base here. So fourth base on the low ground then. That's my assumption. And we're just, it's Marines, it's Siege Tanks, it's Medivacs. He's not brave enough to try to go for bio here today. A bit of a kind of weird delayed marine medevac attack here. But enough roaches and ravers to handle it. So uh, going to chase those guys out. Ling's in the mix here too. Infestors. We are actually making infestors today. Was that an accident? I just, I don't know. I'm a fan of infestors in this matchup. Fungal is better than people remember it is, I think. Changeling's getting sniped there. It doesn't root... Ever since they made Fungal not Root anymore, every Zerg player was like, well, it's garbage now. Because Root's insanely good. But the slow is better than Zerg players think. I'm just, I'm going to die on that hill. You can slow units so that Ultras can catch them. You can slow units so that Banelings can roll into them, right? The slow is enough for those situations. Can you Root a bunch of Marines in this group right here and Fungal them to death, or Bile them to death? No. You can't fungal bile anymore. It's not an option. They're too. It's not good enough for that. <sighs> Concussive shell on the way from Dream. By the way, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing here today. If you're watching this on Patreon, uh, you're probably already a subscriber to the channel. But if you just kind of stumbled across this, I've been doing this since 2015, uh, six years now. Coming up on man, coming up on my seventh year of casting. So if you enjoy what you're seeing and what you're hearing, I'm here five times a week with StarCraft II content. Uh, if you're watching this on my StarCraft 2 only channel, you're like, why don't you have as many subs as someone who's been doing this for so long? And the answer is because I tried an experiment. My original channel is just uh, youtube.com slash Falcon Paladin. I started doing some Brood War in there, and it took over the channel. So that's largely a Brood War channel now. And I wanted to still have a place where the StarCraft 2 people could go without seeing the Brood War stuff. And anywho, whatever, it's all good. That's why my sub count isn't super high. So Roach Ravagering it here against Siege Tanks. Nice bile on that tank. Takes it down. Not too shabby. As I say, Roach Ravager is pretty good for the first 10 minutes of the match. There's your fungal. All right, all right. We are fungling stuff here. And the fungal's enough to make Dream immediately retreat. He does not like what he sees there with the fungal. Banshees. 
trying to pick off the infestors, but two of them do make it the escape there. Dream coming up. Setting up on this ramp is a pretty tough place for the Zerg to dislodge him right now. But it's going to have to be some really nice Corosa Biles on these siege tanks. But I don't know. He's retreating from this position. Another great fungal down. Corosa Biles don't hit because, again, this doesn't root anymore. It's just a slow. But my goodness, that's a full evacuation. And Dream getting some work done here. Going to take down that fourth base of Dark while he's got his three bases rolling. Very nicely timed there for the Terran player. And Dark's knocked back to three bases at 10 minutes, which is not where he wants to be. He does not like to be here. His income is not as healthy as it is. Dream doing very well. Got a fourth base landing on location, upgrading that sucker to a planetary um, as soon as he has the attention span required to do it. Because his army value is up 116 to 110. Being even on army value, not great. He's up 196 to 178 total supply overall. Yes, there are lurkers here, but guess what? There are siege tanks which are getting abducted into said lurkers and dying. So the siege tank getting whittled down makes it harder for Dream to push into this particular situation. Marines, Marauders fighting quite hard. I might be enough here from Dark to hold. He takes down another siege tank. There's only one remaining now. Lurker's getting some beautiful spines off. They take bonus damage from Marauders, but also do damage bonus to Marauders while they're at it. Bit of a hit squad. Coming in, taking down the Roach Warren or the Infestation Pit would not be bad. Picking off individual Hydra is pretty good too, but oh my gosh, get out of there. Run, this Marauder gets left behind. No, there was no room in the medevac for him. I'm really surprised Dark hasn't thrown up a Nidus or anything yet. He doesn't have a Nidus network, so that'd be hard for him to do. But, you know, this is just one of those games where the Terrans across the map doing a lot of work. And then suddenly a Nidus Worm erupts in their main and they're like, ah, wait. What's happening? All right, Marines, Marauders, Siege Tanks pushing right. Another attack from Dream up top here. I really like Dream. Laughing Games is the one who turned me on to Dream. I do cast live Incredible StarCraft 2 at the professional level at this level with Laughing Games every couple weeks on AfricaTV.com slash Laughing Games. Uh, if you want more information about that, you want to see me casting live at StarCraft 2 like this, you may at AfricaTV.com slash Laughing Games. Nice abducts on those siege tanks, though. Marines. Oh, Marauders. Lurker eggs getting focused on by those Marauders. Nicely done. Killing those. Getting a partial refund on death. Ghost Academy coming in at 12 minutes. That's what we're expecting to see from Dream. Dark getting his fourth base back. Does he have the wherewithal to get a fifth base? Not really. Doesn't have a killer economy. Look at Dream's economy right now. He's just beast moding it right. I just... Mm. Sick. Sick plays. The sickest of plays right now from Dream. Can he win this game? Yeah. I honestly think that he can. He's up right now. Look at him not being super afraid of these lurkers, but he probably should have been. There are probably more lurkers than, than he was expecting. Uh, trying to come in this way. Uh, kind of running into a meat grinder, though. Loses a couple of lurkers for almost nothing. Nah, he was not. He did not have the high ground vision that he needed there, and Dream handles it. Lurker harassing a bit in this location. A single scan should be enough to deal with that. Ooh, but not if your siege tank dies. Attack coming left side. Parasitic bomb on those medevacs. I can spell cast too, says Dark. I mean, he can because he's been throwing down abducts all over the place, obviously. But Parasitic bomb going to be pretty good in the situation. And also the fungals that I keep forgetting about. We might be done with fungals for now. His investors died. Is he going to spend the money to replace them? Probably not. In my experience. Another lurker attack trying to get something done. He's completely dead. So 173 to 173 supply. There you go. Dark is now taking his fifth base at the 12 o'clock position here on Oxide. Lurker just, you know, randomly harassing all over the place. Lurker harassing this attempt of Dream to get a fifth base himself. 
lurk or die as Dream's keeping up on base count here, y'all. The income is creeping back up on the dark side at the moment. These drones coming in are going to be a big deal to him, but it's going to be Hydra, Lurker, a Viper with Zerglings in the mix. No Banelings today. It's got all the upgrades for the Lurkers, both the Burrow Speed and the, the Range. I do like how planetaries just kind of scan around th th for threats. What up, Viking? Man, Dream just expanding a whole bunch. Extra command centers coming up all over the place. Oh, terrible timing. Oh, gets the cancel off just like that. Lickety split. He needed that to happen. Woo! And then too many Lurkers and Lings show up, and Dream gets out of there. So Dream is playing the long game. He is someone who will split the map in half against a Zerg player and try to starve him out. Just try to win through trades and trades and trades and trades. Yeah, ghosts, more ghosts joining the party, plus three vehicle weapons coming in. And Dark not being aggressive at all. He really hasn't gone for a huge attack, except for, I guess, this is probably it. Mm, no, he's still sticking on creep. He hasn't tried to take down any of these bases. By that, I mean, here we go. Blinding Cloud on all the Siege Tanks. Massive engagement for Dark here. The Siege Tanks are dying incredibly fast. Ravager's getting free shots off with that Blinding Cloud up. Blinding Cloud plays perfectly. Ghosts are trying to steady target, snipe down these Lurkers, but there are so many Lurkers it gets very hard to do, especially when the Lurkers outrange the Ghost Snipe ability, which doesn't make any sense at all. But Lurker down, Lurker down, Lurker down. Okay, all right. The tide is starting to turn here in favor of these Ghosts and Dream. Chasing up a little bit, killing some Changelings, going after some Creep Tumors too. Backing up, taking this high ground. He knows this high ground is really important. I mean, yes. Did Dark just come take it from him? Absolutely, that happened. But that's okay, right? Resources lost at this stage of the game are 22,000 for Dark, 19,000 for Dream. It's exactly how he wants this game to go. He's making another Ghost Academy, which to me indicates nukes. You usually don't make multiple Ghost Academies unless you want to go for the nuclear missiles. Adrenal glands being researched. We didn't forget that today, Zerg fans. We've had a few times in 2021 where elite players like Serral have completely forgotten about adrenal glands. Rogue did it too. And it's just like, what? What? How? How? Another engagement here. Lurkers getting hits off and forced it to fall back. To the low ground again, trying to snipe Hydralisks. Okay, Ooh, Lurker's on retreat. My goodness. And once again, Dream's able to hold, able to make some good trades. It's now 26 to 22,000 resources lost. Yeah, I think Dark can be allowed to have the bases that he has. This is going to be a big one. If Dream can have this, I think he very much can win this game. If Dark takes it, I think it's Dark's game to lose. Man, giant lurker ball. Almost want to say like a transition into battle cruisers would be kind of insane here, but this is an attempt on a base. This is how you assault a Terran fortification if you're Zerg. Does he bring 47 lurkers over, spine it down to death? No saving that. And there you go. The SCVs got out. The lurkers are escaping. They know they're going to take some losses as they retreat here because that's how lurker <laughs> lives are. When they're retreating, they die. Dude, killing that Overseer would be amazingly useful. Is he trans? Nope. Nope. Detection is gone. But up the left side here. Looking okay. Looking all right. Snipe. Nope. Lurker's, lurker spines interrupting that snipe. Bottom right base for Dream. There are creep tumors down here. Creep tumors galore. Uh, 
Oh, and the Ling's coming. Oh, there are some tanks to try to defend this base. SCV's transferring down here, too. Into a completely active war zone. No, this is bad. Dream, no. Dream, 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 dream. The creep is here, so the Orbital Command can't land anymore. There's an attack on the left side happening, but that gets shut away by Liberators and Tanks. And a nuke, which Dark immediately sees, pulls the drones away, trying to get them out of the range of that nuke, uh, that nuke setup. Yeah! Okay, no drones die there at all. Does manage to clear the creep, so is retreating and pushing up this right side, clearing creep further and further and further and further. So that is going to be hard for Dark to reestablish again. These Marines know they're sacrificial. They're here to clear creep. That's all they're doing. And that's what they do. Time to land, Dream. This is, man. This is it. This is the hometown. Land it. Land it. <laughs> Not landing it. Are we looking for a ghost up here? I think that was ghost hunting, what those lurkers were up to. Neural Parasite. We are making a million more infestors. I was wrong. He is making more of them and more ghosts in production, or more nukes in production, too. Yeah, this guy wants a nuke off. Okay, this is a weird place for Dark to be aware of. Can he? He does. He checks it. He sees the dot. He sees it there. It's a great, well-placed dot, man. I mean, that is insane. Gets the drones out, does some damage, brings the drones back in, brings some lings to try to kill the ghost. The ghost is fleeing for his life from the crime scene, but hasn't gotten that big connection yet that he really wants to get. Income. Currently favoring Dream. Dark pulling workers off of minerals is going to slow that income down quite a bit. But I think when it comes down to it, Dark is going to be allowed to have these bases and mine them out entirely. Look at this. Dark sacrificing drones to make it happen here. This nuke's going to land. Okay, that's fine. This nuke... Where is he? Ah, oh, he died. And the nuke is not going to land. Yeah, I just think if Dark holds on here... Man, these nukes today, though. Nuke. Coming in two more at a time. This ghost dies. Nuke doesn't happen. The spores are in pretty good... He's making additional spores to help with that. More drones go down, but again, I think that might just be a... A situation where Dark is freeing up supplies at 65 workers, which is fine for now. But he's going to mine all this out. I think this is just a map split in half, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I guess it's one, two, three, four, six. Yeah, six and six here on Oxide. And if Dark thinks he's going to win this thing, splitting the map in half against Dream, I'm not convinced. Yeah, Liberators, Siege Tanks <laughs> with their upgrades. Just The Lurkers are going to take casualties just wandering into the general vicinity. Of that situation, man. It is a Nidus network. There we go. Oh! And swarm hosts. What? So his composition is currently 14 lurkers, 8 infestors with... Eight swarm hosts on the way, six hydras, and 71 zerglings. What an interesting, interesting, non-standard play here from Dark. I might have to label this replay unorthodox because what? Maybe he's like, this is mech enough that swarm hosts are going to be good? It's just the longer the game goes on, the more it favors Dream. The longer this game goes on where this is in Terran hands and he's able to mine all the resources off this base which he's working very hard on, and he's getting closer to every second, the more Dream has a chance to win this thing. So here's our Swarm Host crew. I mean, I guess... You try to attack expansions, right? Yeah, you launch, you fly, these are on timers. Is this ghost gonna get something done? Uh, no, I think he died. So no nukes there. Yeah, Locust get nothing done that way. SCV is coming up to free up supply for the Terran commander this time. 
Neither player wants a ton of workers. Having a hundred workers in a situation like this is bad for you. You want a bigger army. Looks like there was a bit of a pause. We didn't have to endure, thankfully. Always very, very nice. Man, Dream. Are we kidding here? Is Dream going to win this? Dream. So Locusts do drop on top of the Marines and the Siege Tanks. Friendly Fire Splash is a problem there, but Siege Tanks are alive. Still killing it. Still not dying. Locusts getting killed in the air is the worst case scenario for Zerg. They hate it when Locusts die in the air. I'm going to go ahead and snipe whatever wanders into these ghost range, right? Going after Queens, going after Lurkers, going after Swarm Hosts, Overseers, Overlords. Whoa, we did make a ton of Banelings. Dark's like, okay, that didn't work. Banelings, maybe? This is nuts, man. Dream has had a plan today, and he's executing it very well. Fungal on the ghost, but a couple infestors do go down to snipe. EMP on those. Man, more fungals, though. Get out of there, ghost. Pull back. A couple of them die. Most of them make it home. Big invasion. Locust landing at the same time. Banelings are exploding. Lurkers coming in the right side here. Is it going to be enough to crush through? And Dream is ghosts on the back line. Doing some serious work here. Snipes on those lurkers. Army value is currently 116 to 106 in favor of Dark. But Dream is coming back. 62 lings in production from Dark. He's got a bank of 4,000, 3,000. He's spending that with more swarm hosts. He feels like swarm hosts are the key to victory here. Which I don't. I don't know that I agree with, but it is it is a free unit spawner. So, insofar as it's a free unit spawner, it's good for later game, right? And here we go again. Another wave of locusts. They can get right on top of these tanks, burn them down instantly. Very nicely done. I don't know where more drones are dying, but I'm going to assume it was just sacrificial intentional stuff. Army value 140 to 115, but a lot of that is Swarm Hosts. And the thing about Swarm Hosts is they're dead supply for about 90 seconds at a time in these games. He Neural Parasites a ghost, brings him on over and kills him, which is the right thing to do with a ghost. Maybe get a nuke off. Can you... I forget. Can you use enemy nukes if you hit... Interesting. If you hit one of their dudes... If you Neural Parasite one of their ghosts, yeah, I don't know, that wave of Locusts didn't do anything. That's what I'm talking about. So now these Locusts have to wait for their big time cooldown to wear up before they can do anything. And they're extremely vulnerable here. This is crazy stuff here, man. Marines just kind of wandering around the right side, killing a few drones. Burrow drones are hiding from this. Just Dark has put so much into the Locust Basket today. They're just... I don't think they're doing enough. I don't think they're doing enough for the fact that now, again, nothing doing from them until this cooldown wears off. It makes them very bad defensively for sure. Dude, scanning and killing the drones would be pretty nice, but... I don't know. Like, as long as the engagements are out here in the middle of the map, that Neural Parasite distance is long. He's sniping individual ghosts. Oh, he's back. Can you imagine getting Neural Parasited and then it wears off? And then you're like, hey, sorry for that time five minutes ago that I shot you in the head with my rifle because I was Neural Parasited by an investor. <laughs> like, that'd make things awkward in the barracks after the match, wouldn't it? So Locust again trying to do what they do, but I don't I've not really seen this work, but reinforcing Lings, Banes, and Hydras trying to get on top of this stuff too. Banelings crashing in, but look at Dream just standing strong. Standing tall, not killing these uh, by the way, these are changelings. That's a lot of changelings, Dream. Uh see these were almost are like we can't do anything whatsoever. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And GG Dream! Dream does it. He catches the Swarros on cooldown. Backs him into a quarter. There's nowhere for them to run. They can't get inside the Nidus network. They go down and Dream 
takes the match. Oh, <laughs> takes it off of Dark. What an absolutely insanely good, weirdly unorthodox ZVT. And this is what Dream will do. He will cut the map in half against you. He will starve you out. That's it. He will starve you out. Dark lost the game because he wasn't quite sure what to do. He tried to use really cost-efficient swarm hosts, but there were enough marines and ghosts in there. It wasn't going to work. The swarm hosts were not going to be able to do as much damage as they needed to. Absolutely bananas, ZVT. That is getting an unorthodox, epic-style tag there. Dark died with 3,000 minerals and 3,000 gas because all of his swarm hosts were dying. Uh, he had nine left after losing 18. He'd lost all of his lurkers. All 48 of them had died. And he knew he just he couldn't rebuild an army fast enough to deal with the fact that Dream was on this side of the map with marines and ghosts, and there wasn't anything to really stop them. It was 23 lings and three infestors was the army for Dark at that moment. 44 army supply to 121. Having the bank did not help him. Did not help him. Absolutely just, I don't, great match. Look at this. Look at this income tab. That's good for Terran. It just is. Zerg needs more of an advantage on income to win these things. And if you cut the map in half, then you're toast. The end. Man. All right. Well, that was absolutely insane. What a great Patreon cast. It's just, it's just patience, man. It's making good trades. 55,000 to 46,000 resources lost isn't a massive discrepancy, but it was enough in a game like this one. And if you can kind of force a Zerg player to try to go Swarm Host into Desperation play, you pretty much got them where you want them. Dream. He's a good one. He's going to be a good one for a long time. But for today, that's going to be it for me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.